Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Redux. And today we're playing, of course, of course, the most overrated Zelda game. <laughs> no, we're playing Let's Do Zelda Ocarina of Time. I just opened up a great war there. Okay, well, anyways, yes, this is a game. It's seen as the best game of the year, seen as the best game of the life, seen as best game of everything. I do not agree with that. I think this game is just amazing. Yes, it is. It's purely awesome and it's beautiful. But I don't think it's the best Zelda game. Not by a landslide. Not by a landslide. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> and he is sleeping with his eyes open. Oh god, that's loud. Jesus. That's a Triforce ship. So Triforces are beautiful. They are indeed. Oh my god, look at that. That is just... That's Zelda running away. That's, that is indeed Zelda. Look at the beautiful Nintendo 64 graphics. That are actually working for some odd reason. I don't know. I, As you all know, I am uh, emulating everything. Emulating Master over here. No, I'm not at all. If I were, then I would know how to fix all of this shit. Navy. Or is it Navi? I don't know. Navi? Navi. It's Navi. Navi. Navi, where are thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy. Listen to my words. The words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring us outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead a Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. Why would you, why would you place that kind of responsibility with a shitty fairy that does not know how to shut the fuck up? Actually, I don't find Navi as annoying as other people do. I don't, really don't think that she's that annoying. Like, at all. She was like, she was an actual friend, you know? Actual friend to Link. She was being nice, trying to be helpful, saying hey and hello already. Yeah, she was trying to be helpful, trying to be nice and everything. And she was just hated by everyone, because she didn't know how to shut up, and that's basically it. That's, that's Navi for you. Just a nice, misunderstood person. Fairy thing. Whatever. I'm in my own house. This is my house. Why does my house have like three sledgehammers on the wall? Or, they, they look like sledgehammers anyway. Hello, Marcus. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Marcus, get up. Was it Toad? Why am I giving a Toad voice? Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Boy? <laughs> Navi turned southern. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Hello there, Link. Oh, wait, sorry, I mean Marcus, because I named myself Marcus in every single fucking game ever. You finally woke up! I'm Navi the Fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you! She's just trying to be nice! And you get Midna, who she's a piece of shit! I fucking hate Midna. And a lot of people are like, Oh, yeah, Midna's the fucking best! And I'm just like, why do you, why do you love Midna? Someone who is just like a complete ass towards Link. And you hate Navi, the only fucking friend he has. Casario is fucking gone anyway later on. Jesus Christ, I don't understand people. Kiri Forest, welcome! 
What? The stairs, I just realized, they're just two textures. That is amazing. That is amazing. Hello there. Yahoo! Hi, Marcus! Hello. I'm a, I'm a coming, I'm a coming down! Is that... Is that fucking Link fighting a dodongo I can't wait to bomb the dongos. That, that's... I'm not even gonna talk to you. I don't even fucking care. How do you, how do you do camera shit? Alright, it's the Z button. And then you can walk like a retard. Yep, that's the Z button, basically. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, Jose, welcome to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's a game that came out for the Nintendo 64. It's the one of the first games that I played. How do you how do you duck? Oh, there. One of the first games that I've ever played. It is a wonderful game. Don't get me wrong. I love this game to death. But I love other games. Just I love other Zelda games just a little bit more. Like the one I'm going to be doing after this one. I mean, Zelda's gonna be a pretty big thing on Retro Redux, because, I mean, Zelda's just a pretty big thing altogether, right? anyway, so. And I, I really do enjoy myself some Zelda. I always do. I always do. You know, I could have done the Master Quest just to keep things interesting, but I don't I don't have a uh, GameCube emulator. Well, uh, maybe I have one, but it's not, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be working perfectly well for me. You got the Kakiri Sword! On the equipment subscreen, select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kakiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Why is there a fucking car outside going insane? Now it's done being insane. Anyways, I'm glad that I found a way that I can actually get fucking Nintendo 64 games to look good. Because, you know, I don't know if anyone's ever used Project 64, but it only works for like half the games that it has. And then when it does work eventually, you find out that half the textures are not working, like in Donkey Kong 64. And then you just like, you, you realize... You realize the people that did the fucking emulating work for Project 64 are just shit. They're shitty developers, because it's been 10 fucking years since this thing came out, and nothing has improved. Just recently, version version 2.2 came out, literally nothing is different. Just literally nothing is different. It's still shit, and I still have to use different plugins. Because without plugins, I can't even do anything. Now I'm going to have to collect about 40 rupees. That's always a part I did not really enjoy about this game, where it's just you begin, you begin the game, and the first thing you have to do right away collect rupees of course i just completely suck at this game is apparently also a thing but nope get the rupees yeah what i wanted to say is that uh project 64 guys i don't know you guys suck i mean i'm glad that this emulator is out there but seriously this emulator needs a shit ton of work because if a simple texture is not even working i don't know what you're doing i mean you get you get the games working you, you, like, you get the games working, so why do you not get the textures working? That seems to me that the textures would be the first thing you go after, and then after that you start working on the fucking game. But I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to, how fucking emulating shit, how emulating games works. I don't, I don't, I don't know how emulating games works. So, what, who am I to judge these people for their work? That they have obviously not put into their emulator, but whatever. Just I'm just a simple guy too. I probably can't even do anything. This I can program a little bit. I can program a fucking Flappy Bird clone, but that's not hard. Anyone can do that. They just look on the internet for a little bit too, a little bit long. I can make an Arkanoid clone. And the Arkanoid is just a piece of shit game to begin with. So who knows? No, it's not really a shitty game. It's just I don't know. I just never was a fan of like the old arcade game, like arcade-like games, so I, I guess any the NES is just not really a con my console, my kind of console. The Super Nintendo, though, and the Nintendo 64 are really are my console, though, because especially the Nintendo 64, because I, I grew up on this shit. I grew up on Banjo-Kazooie, Nintendo, fucking Mystical Ninja Star, and Goemon, I'm definitely doing that game, by the way, I'm definitely doing that game. I just recently beat that game, too, so I still know quite a bit of that. But yeah, uh, last thing I wanted to say about the emulator thing is uh, I just find it baffling how 
everything works perfect with the Dolphin emulator, with the, like the GameCube emulator. And then you get a Nintendo 64 emulator that's been out for 10 years. And you just get complete shit. I just don't understand how that works. I just don't understand it, like, one bit. Maybe this rock will give me another rupee. I completely have forgotten, like, where, where to find rupees and shit. Can I just, can I cut this for you? I can apparently not cut that for you. Seriously, though. Where, where is shit? By the way, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be 100% in this game. I know I said that at the beginning of A Link to the Past 2 and then I 100%ed it. But, I'm just not, I'm just not sure about 100% in this game. I mean, it's a great game. Don't be wrong. Don't get me wrong. But I would like to get to other games and 100%ing this game is going to take quite a while. No, it's not gonna take like a shit ton of time. It's probably only gonna take like 30 episodes to get through this game, but still. So a lot that's a lot more than fucking a link to the past was. A link to the past was 12 episodes, I think. I think it was like 12 weeks of Zelda. I don't know, may maybe I found a way to upload two episodes a day already at this point of record of uploading this, so hey. Who knows? But yeah, I just find it baffling how a GameCube emulator, GameCube and Wii emulator, that um, Wii, and the Wii has the Wii has only been out for like, actually the Wii has almost been out for ten years. Never mind, the Wii's been out for like ten years. And like, no, I'm not gonna look at you. And like, the emulator just works perfectly. And then you get this, and it's just like, yep, okay, this texture is not working, this texture is not working, that texture is not working. I mean, oh wow, there's five boobs over there. I didn't know that. The Deku Shield, it's small, it's running a little bit smaller, it's a little bit tinier than how it looks on your back, huh? No, I wouldn't like to buy anything else. I don't even, I can't even buy, why would I even want to buy arrows? Like seriously, I, I can't even equip them or anything. Let's equip the Deku Shield, there we go. Also, another thing. Is that I, I know that in a Link to the Past, most dungeons only took me like <laughs> from six to like I think the maximum amount of time a dungeon took me in a Link to the Past was like twenty minutes maybe. Yeah, I think it was like twenty minutes, and it was like the final dungeon, so that was like understandable that that one would take the longest. But I swear, like the, the, even the first dungeon in this game is already gonna take longer than that, I think, or just well at least around that time, because this game is a lot heavier on. Like, the later Zelda games are more heavy on combat than uh, puzzles. I don't know, I don't really remember if this one is based more around puzzles. Th I think this one is based more around puzzles than fighting. Just big ol' enemies. Oh, hey, that's the g great d dick tree. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Marcus, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Decutree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Marcus, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. And the wisdom is a Zelda's party, it's not me. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? I wonder what it's to say no. Perhaps you do not yet have confidence in your abilities. Return to the Kokiri Forest to learn the skills of combat. When thou art ready, return here and speak with me by using Z. Oh wow, that's that's actually a thing. How do I how do I speak just again with you? Z. I'm, pr I'm pressing Z. It's not doing it. There, Z. Oh, there we go. It's kind of odd, though. I've been cursed. You need to break the curse with your waste of courage. Why did he suddenly turn into Joe Swanson? Why is everyone Joe Swanson in my head? Just everyone is crippled. <laughs> everyone is crippled. Yes, I'm, I'm courageous enough to go into your mouth. Which is apparently dislocated from your body. Then enter brave Marcus, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Marcus. And Marcus, when Navi speaks, use the up arrow to listen well to her words of annoyance. Cause nobody fucking cares about Navi. 
Like I said, I mean, I don't... I kind of understand the hate of Navi, because, I mean, she is just an annoying character. She is. Just with a constant, like, trying to give you hints about things that are pretty fucking obvious, like opening a door with the A button that we're going to be getting close to in just a bit. But seriously, though, character-wise, she's pretty cool, because she's, like, she's Link's friend. I mean, it's, she's the reason that Majora's Mask happens, but, I mean, that's what I would guess anyway. It's never really cleared up who the friend was that Link was searching for in Majora's Mask. But I mean, we can basically we can safely guess that that was just Navi. That was just Navi. Also, hope you like the uh, template that I have for this. I haven't actually made it yet, so I'm not even. I don't even know how it will look. But I hope you like it. I like doing templates. Like I like doing them. It's kind of funny when you think of it that this template probably looks very similar to the Link to the Past one, but it's that's just. That's mostly just because this, this Zelda game is, again, very, very much laid out like A Link to the Past. And Wind Waker was too, wow. Every Zelda game kind of goes through the same formula, huh? Get three items, get Master Sword, done. It's kind of how it goes. Alright, well anyways, here we have to hold out our shield so that we can deflect this fucking asshole and then we have to get to him. Not too hard, and you just roll... I cannot believe that I was not able to do that. Okay, so this uh, this game brings me a lot of memories too. I know that A Link to the Past already brought me quite a bit of memories. Because I, I know that my dad played that a lot and stuff. And I played a lot as a child on the Game Boy, not really on the Super Nintendo. Because I don't know if you actually have, like, Super Nintendo version of the game. I mean, I have the game, which is not Super Nintendo version. I have not Game Boy fans. But this, this game really does bring... A lot of memories back to me because I, I mean this game was basically my childhood and it's kind of weird how this game is my childhood but I don't really hold any nostalgia towards it did I just go through this the wrong door I think I just did go through the wrong door yeah it's it's kind of weird how I just have no nostalgia for this game whatsoever I mean I like it I know it's a good game I don't think that it's the best game ever I like that I'm playing it right now for you guys, but apart from that, I don't really think this is the best game. I like Majora's Mask better, and I only just recently finished that. I never actually played that as a child. Well, I did play it as a child, but more so as a teenager. I, I, yeah, I think I played, like, tried to beat Majora's Mask for the first time when I was a teenager, and I only got to, like, Georg, which is the third temple. And then I couldn't beat the boss for some odd reason. I don't remember why I couldn't beat the boss. And then I recently just plugged it into my Nintendo 64 and beat it in two days. So yeah. I know I'll definitely be doing that game. Seriously, I'll definitely be doing that game. Without a doubt. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh yeah, I just got the slingshot. I mean, I know that I remember... Oh god, no. I, I mean, I guess I want to save. I, I don't know. It's not really what I wanted to do, but... I mean, whatever. Okay, let me just shoot at that. Shoot, I mean, okay. Oh god, the fucking Nintendo 64 aiming. I forgot that it was so shit. Okay, I think I am gonna go 100% on this game. But the problem is, uh, okay, so the thing I'm not gonna get all of the sculptures because getting all of the sculptures doesn't even give you anything good. But I am gonna go for every single heart piece in the game. Which I don't think I've actually ever really done that, except for like the, the 3DS version. Yeah, what I wanted to say is that uh, I am really glad that this game and Majora's Mask was remade for the 3DS. Because, fuck off, Navi. I just want to play the game. Can I just play the game? I know that I can climb on it. I know, I know, what? What? Why do you, what, why? Why are you telling me this again? Why did you tell me that twice? Anyways, what I wanted to say is that I know... I've completely forgotten what I was going to talk about. Thank you, Navi. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I guess I understand now why people hate you, Navi. You just make them forget everything that they wanted to say ever. But whatever. It's not as if I'm going to hate you forever. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have that. So I might as well get... I don't have any sticks. That's weird. I could have sworn that I had sticks. Let's just get stick from this guy then. Can you give me stick? Nope, you just give me Deku Nut. Deku Nut! Deku Butt. 
Yes, this is a Deku butt. I hope you like butts. This is definitely going to be a recurring theme. Deku butts. Can I kill you with the slingshot? I can't, huh? I seriously thought I could just kill him with my slingshot. I guess not. Now the line is what I have to do in his room is just push the switch. The crescent moon. Wait. Was that a moon in the Wait. What version of the game do I have? I have the. Okay, I have the American version, apparently. Um. Wait a minute. Was that always a moon? I could have sworn it was a sun. Okay, maybe maybe I'm just Okay, maybe I'm just thinking of Majora's Mask too much. Because I think it was a sun in Majora's Mask. It might have just been a moon in this game. I'm gonna go ahead and uh try to find pictures of that and you'll see it in the screen if there's actually a difference between these switches and the switches in Majora's Mask. I think there is though. But I I can never be too sure. Hey, now I got a stick. Great, thank you stick. Now that I have that, I can get this thing, which I think is just a compass. Yeah, I think this is the compass. I got the compass. Okay, great. Now I can find the locations of everything. And deco seeds, alright. You know, one thing that I like about this game that uh, later games forgot was that after you get the item once, you don't ever get, like, an introduction to the item again. Well, and, you know, since Twilight Princess, and in, like, Skyward Sword as well, you went like, oh, hey, I found a blue rupee. And you get, like, a little bit of a thing for it. You should like, get, like, Link being happy and being like, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so you get, like, a happy Link, and you're like, hey, I found a blue rupee. And you're like, yeah, great, great, Link. You, f you found a fucking blue rupee. It's amazing. I'm so happy for you. And then, you like, you, you close the game off, and then you start it up again, and you get on a blue rupee, and then Link is like, Hey! I found a blue rupee! And you're like, yeah, you found that last time too, thanks. Why do you keep showing me this? I don't want to see your blue rupee all, every f single time. And you get it, Link. Why do you not understand this? That's it! Okay, so the sliding, that still does work. I'm, I'm not that great with the, with the quick slot quick spin attack, even though I just did it like three times in succession, but whatever, let's fall down and break the net, and get a double, double link scream all the way across the sky, oh god, what did I do? I must have skilled the skull to I think you need 50 of all 100, there are 100, right, yeah, I think there are 100, I think you need 50 of all 100 to uh, get a piece of heart from it. And then I think you get like, you get like, rewards for every, uh, fifth, for every ten Skulltulas. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one too. A lot of the uh, Skulltulas you can find in the dungeons. So mostly I'll just be getting the Skulltulas from the dungeons and I'll probably be getting a couple of them on the outside. But I think with just the Skulltulas from the dungeons and the mini dungeons, you can have almost enough for, for 50. But I'm not sure about that. I guess we'll find out in the long run. Oh, there's a treasure chest with probably a heart piece. I mean, a heart, not a heart piece. Why would a heart piece be in such a small treasure chest? Wait, was that a thing? I think that was only like a. Thi was that ever a thing? Finding a heart piece in a, in a dungeon. I don't think that was ever a thing. I, I feel like it was, but I don't think it was. Maybe in Wind Waker. I don't know, I feel like it wasn't one of the later 3D Zelda games. Not on this one on Majora's Mask though, I know that for sure, because I just recently 100% at Majora's Mask, so I know, I know, I know that game at the bottom of my hand now. The bottom of my hand? The bottom of my head. Yeah, I, I know that game just completely out of my head now. This game, however, I, I'm not completely familiar with anymore, I mean, I know it's a game from my childhood, but... You know, you, you, f you forget things from your childhood. One thing... Okay, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get into this a little bit later on. Once I get to the end. Oh, the order is 2, 3, 1. Yep, 23 is number 1. No, I don't think you're a traitor. Why would you be a traitor? I mean... Well, whatever. Uh, so yeah, this game... I, don't, I, just, I just still find it weird that this game is a childhood game for me, but I don't have any... Oh, Navi. 
I don't have any nostalgia towards it. I just find it odd. You find it odd? Of course you find it odd. Or oh, you're not finding it odd. Nostalgia blinds people. And there's... No. I mean, it's true. Nostalgia does blind people. And believe me, I'm, I'm not just like... I mean... I'm not saying that this game is bad. I'm just saying this game is overrated. And there's nothing bad with a game being overrated. Really, there isn't. Sometimes games just get more praise than they're worth. And it's fine. That's, that's, that's really fine. But I just don't find this game to be the best Zelda game. Sure, it might have been the most revolutionary Zelda game. Maybe. I mean, considering. To be honest, when I look at this game, all I see is a 3D a Link to the Past. Which is a pretty big thing to accomplish in the first place. Make a, make a 3D game out of a 2D game series and then make it feel like those 2D game series. That is pretty amazing to do. But honestly, I don't I don't know if this game really revolutionized that many things. I mean, sure, it might have like revolutionized the adventure genre in 3D. I mean, without this game, we probably wouldn't have a lot of those knockoff Zelda games like Dark Souls. No, not Dark Souls. I mean, uh, Dark Siders. I mean, Dark Siders is really just a just a Zelda, just a grittier Zelda clone. Dark Siders one, you know, was great, and then you had Dark Siders two, which was just shit. I will never play Dark Siders. What? What's, what's Dark Siders on Steam? I forgot. If it is, I might play it then. Well, I might play it, but yeah, I, I like Dark Siders one. I didn't like Dark Siders two a, a whole lot, but that's about it. Just of my likings of Dark Siders. I think I just said Dark Souls because I'm playing Dark Souls for Steam Stamp right now, and I don't know how much of a time difference there is between me playing this game and me playing Dark Souls on my channel. Cause like I said, I'm recording this way ahead of time. Oh god, the eggs. Like, so, like right now, it's I think it's April. Uh, it's, like, it's like April 11th. No, it's April 12th. And, uh, I, I keep I keep thinking that I can change the camera with the C button because I th I think you can do that in Majora's Mask. I'm pretty sure you can. And if you can't, well then I mean whatever. That is what I remember. What I also remember is that we're actually almost done with this uh, dungeon. And as you could have seen, this dungeon is already taking me twice the amount of time that the first dungeon in Link to the Past took me. I'm actually really glad that this game is working this well on the Nintendo 64 emulator. I mean, it would have been a shame if this was if this went the same way as Donkey Kong 64. I've recorded Donkey Kong 64 like a couple of episodes, but then like I realized that just a lot of the textures were just missing and not showing up at all. And I didn't really, I didn't really like that. I mean, I, when I play these games, I would like all of the textures to be there. I've actually had a little bit of an idea. I, I don't know if you guys know the concept of uh, repainting a game. It's basically you you dump the textures into a folder, and then you uh, you go and change the textures into something else, but you name them the same as they are in the in the original folder. And then once you do that, like for instance, say this this water is a texture, which I think this water is actually not a texture, but this this ground this ground is definitely a texture. It definitely is. Okay, I need to be two first. This twenty three is number one. Number one. No, but um, now like the ground and the walls are texture. So, for instance, if I were to dump the textures and get a picture of Obama. I don't know why I t t chose Obama as a as a like example, but if you t if I like were to choose a picture of Obama, I would just have like the Deku tree and the walls would just be Obama's face. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Wouldn't that just be amazing? I might do that for a game someday. I can only really do that for N64 games though, so I, I think I might <laughs> I might actually do that for Majora's Mask. Cause it just seems like a lot of fun to me, and I do want to do something uh, a little bit different. Up there, we can see the boss, because we're already the boss. You don't need boss keys. I should realize that you don't need boss keys. 
I think the boss key thing was only in later. Like, l later on in the game. I love an Ergoma. Alright, so this is Goma, one of the easiest bosses in Zelda history ever. It's a hand. I, li I like that. I like the I like the design of this boss. I'll, I'll say that much. Come on, just shoot his eye. There we go. Spin attack. Spin attack the shit out of him. Okay, so uh, he's gonna go away. Uh, the next cycle is probably gonna kill him. So I have the story. Um, my dad couldn't beat this guy. I know. And that's just ridiculous. But yeah, my dad could not actually beat this guy. Not at all. So, he had me do it. A, I think I was like three years old. A three year old child. Had to do the first boss. Had to do Goma. I won. Just, just for reconsider. Just so you know, I did actually win. I also beat Paper Mario when I was four. I don't understand how I did that. I don't understand how I did that. I mean, it's a slow game. So, I mean, it's. I, gu I guess I kind of understand it, but I just still find it amazing how I was able to beat that game when I was like just a child, like four or five years old, and now when I play it, I have a problem with it. <laughs> I, I find problems with it. You've got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Thank you for that. And now I'll get into the shining light, and we will turn into a crystal. Or was that not until late? No, never mind. I keep thinking of like Zelda. Wind Waker, because I think he turned into a crystal in that one. I don't know. Just don't quote me on anything. Ever. Well done, Marcus. There's the tree. We saved him from the curse. Thou hast fairly demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell ye, wouldst thou listen? Yeah, sure. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. That is really fun. I don't want to actually watch this cutscene. Fuck off, that cute trick. Ah, the burns. Sick burns in a fire background. Yes. No. Yes? No. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerous powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power and fire. Eru, the goddess of wisdom and water. And Verore, the goddess of courage. Just nature in general. <laughs> fire, yep. Din. With the strong flaming arms, he cultivated the land and created the red earth. It's Mars! Legend of Zelda takes place in Mars! Nehru poured her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. And Ferore, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The three great goddesses, their labors completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the wrestling is in place where the triangles has become the sacred realm. 
What a wonderful story, Grandpa. Now, can I please go or eat something that Grandma made? Because she's stuffing my face full with it. No, must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred trifles. No, must never suffer that man with, the sa with his evil heart to enter. I must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter. Like, what? That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. That's actually sitting down, wow. It's kind of a cool little detail. Marcus, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you. The stone that man wanted so much that he cast a curse on me. We get beautiful stone. We beautiful stone. It's a stone. And it's screen. Yeah. It's a stone. Bam. You got the Kakiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Marcus. Thou art courageous. Navi the Fairy, help Marcus to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. And he's dead. There he goes. Is the perp down now? It's fall. It became foul for him. No. Nope. He's dead. And nobody cares. It's good Hyrule Castle, Marcus. See, even fucking Navi doesn't give a shit. <laughs> okay, I guess no, she does care. Goodbye, the great Deku Tree. Yeah, okay, she does care. Never mind. Maybe it would have been a good, cool detail. Oh, Mido just disappeared for a second. That was spooky. Hey, Marcus, what did you do? The great Deku Tree. Did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. And then he just lets me through anyway. And he disappears. He disappears. He literally disappears. What the fuck? Mido is a ghost. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a dislike, leave a subscribe, leave a unsubscribe, do whatever the fuck you want. Because you're human, I'm human, we're all human, right? Maybe you're a ghost. So thank you guys for watching. Do what you please, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.